On this video, I'm going to show you how to go from this to a particular setting that looks like this on Adobe Premiere Element where we'll be able to zoom in and zoom out and how this can be able to improve the quality of your video and also keeping a couple of settings to be still at a particular frame on your video and also how to be able to engage your audience in terms of letting them to understand what particular focus that you want them to be looking at without any form of just having your video to just be still throughout all the frame and this is going to be interesting based on how you're going to be looking at various features on your adobe premiere element quite different from other type of software that you may have encountered and we are going to jump right into this so let's begin with the following steps step one is to open the particular zoom in and zoom in out feature on your adobe premiere and to do that all we have to do is click on edit and we see this particular section on the right side on the video on the tool which is called pan and zoom and this allows you to create quick and easy pan and zoom effects in videos and photos so take note that before you click on this you should have on your main timeline a specific section to be highlighted and once you have that you should be able to click on this and we are going to be opening a specific section designated for pan and zoom tool now in this step here we're going to look at different components in this particular frame and what we see on the left side of your screen is just a little instruction on how to play around with this main frame here but we don't really need to look at that because it doesn't really help to be honest all you have to do is just experiment and by experimenting and trying you should be able to really understand all this but here are a couple of key things to keep in mind this here is your key video frame that you are going to be looking at when it comes to how to add things and remove things keeping of adding things and removing things the things that you'll be adding here are specific sections on your full video frame that you want to zoom in and zoom out and to see that all you have to do is you notice on your timeline various spots that are going to be shown as seen right here which are these particular silver or gray arrows for each point and for each point you as you notice for number one you see numbers to be shown right here and between number one number two it will take it two seconds and between number two and number three it will take it seven seconds to transition to that particular spot as you notice from here number one you see that particular area that will be shown right here to number two which is this new area that is going to be at so those are a couple of things to keep in mind if you can't actually find those or click on it to see what is going on another interesting section to keep in mind is this particular rectangle frame and what you see is that it takes you to the specific frames that are already created this here allows you to manipulate various settings here and you know for you to do that for preview what you're going to do is once you if you want to see how everything is going to look like let's say starting from the beginning it will be able to play everything from the beginning and then once you're done and satisfied with it then you click on done if you're not satisfied with it then you click on cancel and it will take you back to the original editing software frame now for the reset what's going to happen is that everything here will be cleaned out as you see right over here so those are the things to keep in mind when it comes to this particular section and in this part here most importantly to add new frame this is where we're going to be adding rectangles and in order for we to do that all we just do is just go to this particular section and if you feel that you should stay at a particular set you just click on 
add frame and then you adjust this particular new green rectangle that is noticed here and adjust it to the specific area that we want in this case we want it to stay at the initial section before it zooms in to a specific section and once you adjust this to the whole or majority of the rectangle of interest will be able to capitalize on that one additional thing to keep in mind is the specific right side of your rectangle greens area we see the x which means that you're canceling it or you're eliminating it for this here is your zooming out and as you see right here and for negative you're zooming in and so your area becomes smaller your area becomes bigger and that is a function of those particular icons as you see in that particular green area so once you're satisfied with this what that means is that from zero mark to mark number one the area will remain the same now if you want to move now to a specific section which is here which is in this case to zoom in what we do now is click on add new frame and this is your new frame and um, you're going to notice the time to take for it to go from frame one to frame two which is one second and once you do that you're going to adjust this to this particular area of interest and sometimes you know you might notice that oh it is the perfect particular square or rectangle in this case however if it's not the perfect all you have to do is just click on this again and i just see where it's going to fully end and once you're done with that you can now continue and once you have this this is where the next part comes in how to let this particular rectangle space to I don't know, I'll accommodate for this blue ink as it moves to this particular space over here and to do that all we do is keep this the same if you want in this case just add new frame and once we add new frame we adjust this to how it was for frame 2 or but also just increase it slightly to accommodate for the blue ink and once we do that we'll be able to have that to be achieved now moving from here to now the new part frame where we're going to have this particular black ink to accommodate majority of the right space all we just do is adjust this new space zoom out and occupy majority of the right space and once this is done we should be able to have our final result which looks like this and once you have that we've accommodated major of the right white space pretty much sometimes some people might say oh, this is boring as it stays for this particular long but sometimes you want to spice things up before this particular red mark you see moves to this particular title all we just do is figure out where that red mark kind of ends and we kind of see that it's around here and once you add this we can just have like a bigger rectangle than the previous one and once we have that allow it to uh yeah move a little bit slightly to the left and once we have that we have this to now allow us to move to the final step which is to fully occupy the whole frame and once you hit on add new frame we are going to have this to occupy the whole frame now a couple of things that i hope this software can actually improve on is having a button that will allow this rectangle to occupy the full frame without we dragging and adjusting to the full frame or other things like that so that is something that i wish this software can actually have so once you're done and satisfied with this we're going to hit on preview and see what our result is going to look like before you click on preview make sure your timeline um, marker is actually dragged to the beginning and then once you hit preview you should be good to go so let's see what we got
so once you're done with this and you're satisfied all you do is click on done and voila there we have it so as we drag this needle you see that what you have is already included in your specific keyframe i hope you found this really informative in terms of zooming in and zooming out on adobe premiere elements please hit the comment down below let me hear your thoughts about this if you know any strategy or trick or shortcuts that you think that might be helpful here please let me know in the comment section down below all the same thanks for following me through this see you on the next video stay smart as always and believe in yourselves